Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. It's almost five o'clock and um, we are here for bonus day number one. I'm super excited to um, invite Lena in today. She's going to be sharing a little bit of her story um, on her health journey story with you. Um, really, because I believe in storytelling. I really believe that if we share each other's story, we realize that we are not so different, even though we might have slightly different symptoms. But there's a lot of common ground that I see happening in terms of struggles, roadblocks, and how we tackle them. So I'm always interested in having people share their own personal health story because it can be such a motivator. It can be such an inspiration to you to keep moving forward. And this is really what this challenge was all about, right? So thank you guys for um, coming on in the past three days to participate in this challenge in the three days of teaching, the three days of learning and implementing asking questions, putting in your homework, and really engaging and in, in, in soaking in that information that I have been sharing with you. I have been receiving wonderful messages from a lot of ladies in here that actually really said that they're so excited to put in some of the things that I taught on that we talked about in the challenge, and they believe that can really help them to implement for a sustainable long-term um, road to feeling better and living well with an autoimmune. And this is really, really, really what this whole challenge is all about. Finding ways, understanding how the body works, understanding what areas of the body you need to focus on in order to regain sustainable health that is not just a, you know, a quick fix or not, not just quick simple, um, you know, quick results that you might get in terms of, you know, you're not reacting to this food because you are excluding it from your diet entirely. That is just a bandit approach. It's a quick fix. So what you're looking at is you want to live a healthy life that is enjoyable where you can get back to the activities that you have not been able to do. Um, because of your inflammation, because of your symptoms. And that takes time and that needs a little bit of work. So we honed in on all of those three areas um, over the challenge in the past three days. So today I'm actually um, inviting in Elena because she is she is one of the ladies who is currently going through my ATM program, which has just opened its doors. Um, to the wait list. So I'm opening up the wait list for the three month program with the next um, round starting January 17th. So Elena is actually right now currently in the trenches and she is going through it um, and she's putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, she is very, um, you know, all in. So let me see. I just got a message that she can't cannot open the link. So let me do this. I'm just going to be copying it again just to see if this works now. So just bear with me until we fix our tech issues here. And I'm just going to be pulling up my Facebook group as well because if you're watching us live, I really would like for you to say hello in the chat. Let us know that you're here, um, where you're tuning in from. And please, if you have if you have any sort of um, questions for Elena, please feel free to ask them, plop them in the chat. This is what it's all about, um, community and trying to share the the experience and the information that we are providing you with. Okay, so bear with me one second. Um, Elena is having a little bit of tech issues, but we will be starting once she is on. 
So whoever's watching, let me know who it is. Let me know how your day was. Oh, there she is. I see her. Okay, amazing. Okay, I'm going to bring her on now. And then we are going to be hearing from Elena. There she is. <laughs> Hi. So it worked for you, huh? Second yeah. time around. My phone, but yeah. Because I don't okay. have on my computer. Okay. That is perfect. You know what? However, however it comes together, that's the way it is. So oh. awesome. Okay, great. So everybody, I want you to meet Elena. So Elena is part of my current ATM program. And as I said before, I truly believe that, you know, we can hear all of the information that we need in order to implement um, and to make changes in our health. Um, so many of us are consuming information, getting all the information that we need, reading books, you know, listening to podcasts and doing all of these things. But it's a completely different story when you're starting to implement and when you're starting to actually try to do the work and try to see results and try to be consistent with the effort that you are trying to put in there. And so today I want um, to really pass it on to Elena because she is in the trenches right now of trying to better her health. And um, yeah, I really want you guys to just listen to her story and to see um, that, you know, what it takes and that it is possible to implement these changes. I want you to hear about the challenges because honestly, this story is not about I'm all better now after like two months, right? Um, this is not it. And that is not what it's going to be in any case. So let's, let's get started. And I want Elena to actually first introduce herself. Tell us a little bit about who you are, um, you know, about your story. And then tell us where, whereabouts you were in your life before you decided to hop on the ATM program and start working with me. So introduce yourself. Awesome. So my name is Elena and I'm original from Spain. Um, I'm a personal trainer and I'm a nutrition coach. So I've been in fitness and health uh, for a while and it's my passion and I love it. And telling me, uh, telling a little bit about me, how I was before uh, ATM, well, starting with us, uh, I think as a very young young child, I was always sick, so I was always taking um, uh, antibiotics. I don't know if you want me to share this now or just right. Yeah, before. yeah, no, just share it. Okay, <laughs> so mm -hmm. always taking antibiotics. Uh, I was I had virus every other month, and until I was eleven, when my mother said no more, uh, and then I was um, I also had some. Uh, eating disorders and I was, uh, I think I, I went from chronic um, chronic diarrhea to chronic constipation and I was using laxatives and, you know, going to diets and jojo. I, I think I'm using uh, of a lot of my, my, my body, of the stress that comes with that. And a few years ago when um, I had, after having children is when my symptoms were like worse. Like I was always bloated, constipated, always taking something to go to the bathroom. I could be, I was like from going every other way day to go four days, five days without going to the bathroom and the bloatedness, joint pain. Uh, I had an injury after having my second child. Like I felt like always something was going on with my body. And I, I, you know, I'm very passionate about nutrition and exercise and, and I study and I got uh, certifications and I try programs and, but always, I feel like I, I've been uh, doing a lot of um, taking away things, taking away foods, lots of foods, lots of foods to the point that if you look how, I eat or how was I was eating before ATM, very healthy. <laughs> it was very healthy, and um, but they always the same foods because I was removing all the foods that I thought it was causing uh, symptoms. And I did tests, I did um, you know to see intolerance and sensitivities and all of those things. And 
that's how it was before uh, studying uh, the ATM. Right. So there was a lot of different, all different kinds of approaches that you took, right? You tried all of the different types of diets that were out there to get you um, some relief and you tried all different sort of supplementation and you um, went on restrictive dieting. And in the end, what happened is it left you depleted. Mm -hmm. So we discovered that your body is very depleted mm -hmm. and that your, um, you know, your, your blood sugar also started to become very much out of range, which led you to have severe cravings and crashes and the feeling of feeling of hangry and the feeling of, you know, just, just, you, you said Jacqueline Hyde type of personality when it comes to hunger feelings and mm -hmm. then not waking up hungry and all of these, you know, imbalances um, because of all of the um, restrictive dieting that has been happened in, in mm -hmm. the past before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I see that happening um, a lot. And now starting when you then decided, so number one is, what did you what made you decide to give this a go like mm -hmm. what was the ultimate you know go ahead trigger for you to say you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna give that a go yeah so well i i've been following for a few months and um before joining i tried the the keto diet i not uh with another program and and what i felt is that i was uh intermittent intermittent fasting and mm -hmm. it and I, I i just felt like that wasn't for me i felt like tired and the fatigue and 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 i was hoping that it was gonna work another thing to work um but but i think but the the thing that made me join it was it, it, you do a, a great job um in, um well you're very knowledgeable and i've been listening to your um podcasts and and and, and i think that the, the fact that uh, this approach is very um inclusive is that how you say it like yes uh very um like the, the approach that you were showing about trying to to find um uh you know the the um, to enjoy food, like that diversity, enjoy food, uh, enjoy uh, in 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 the good things, the whole foods, and healing mm -hmm. with food. That's something that clicked and said, "I want that. I want to heal, and I want to enjoy food, and I want to enjoy life, and I don't want to be, you know, restricted anymore." And and that's something that uh, made me say, yeah. "Okay." I'm gonna try this because it, this doesn't sound like you know take all these supplements or take away this and this and this and six weeks you're gonna be fine or four yes. program this is not this is changes uh, <laughs> that you apply little by little and it's uh, a yeah. lifelong you know yeah. life mm -hmm. so that is interesting because it's the holistic approach to it yes it's 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 the approach um of Let's work with our bodies mm. because food is something that nourishes us coming from a perspective of food is something to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Food is something that has therapeutic power if used in the right way mm -hmm. to bring balance back to your body systems. And that is exactly the gap that mm. I have found for myself in my own journey mm. because it's all about restricting. It's all about taking away. And we have so much to deal with anyways with our symptoms. And mm. because of restrictive thinking and, you know, the, the looking at food as a something negative mm. and having those negative associations with food makes life very, very stressful and it's not enjoyable for us. Yeah. So why not change and in include the foods that we need in order to to heal and repair um, right. on all levels right um yeah so thank you for sharing that so once you have started with atm um so you have been on this journey now for about two and a half months or so um what are what are you experiencing inside the program? What are you learning? What What is new? What are the shifts you're experiencing? Yeah. But another thing that I didn't say that I also have psoriasis. 
um, and super weak uh, nails. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that in two and a half months, I think um, the fact that I'm starting to break those walls or fearing foods, like group of foods that I thought, you know, this is this is bad for you. Or I, I didn't say it because I don't think food is bad or good, but I wasn't eating it. Yeah. And uh, eating lots of whole foods, lots of veggies, um, and eating more often, like uh, trying, that's what I'm practicing right now, like every three hours, <laughs> trying to give something to my body, um, healthy fats, uh, carbs, uh, protein, which I wasn't, I was doing it, but not always, it was very the same group of food. I removed lots of things, things that I, that I noticed, um, that I, wins, I think my nails are growing strong <laughs> and shiny. Like nice. I think, I didn't see my nails like this since I moved to the States 10 years ago. Uh, that I started noticing when I moved here that my nails were getting super weak. Um, I uh, what what else? Like the fact that I not bloated every day. I starting. I have few days. I I have days when I wake up and I said, oh, I am not bloated today. So those are uh, wins. Or going. I think it was yesterday. I went to the bathroom without uh, before even taking uh, the medication that the doctor gave me to go. Yeah. Uh, first thing in the morning, like uh, without taking, you know, those extra supplements. Uh, so things, yeah, things are, are are moving. I feel less when I give my body uh, the the. I'm working with uh, keeping the balance, the blood sugar. Yeah. So when I feed my body, I don't weigh too much, and I give, you know, the the, the right foods. I feel like my mood changes as well like um, that irritability i remember i i can see i used to be like leave the the, the table hungry and then i had enough food uh not that i wasn't under calories or anything i i eat enough i was eating enough calories yeah yeah i was always hungry and hangry like my irritability is something that that you know affects me and, and my family everybody <laughs> yes those are amazing wins. And, you know, I want everybody who's listening, I want you to know that those are not quick fixes, mm. right? So, Elena, you would agree that everything that you're putting in place right now, everything that you're changing, would you say those are small steps you have to take mm. and that it takes, is, is it hard work? Like, do you have to really put your effort in it? Or would you say it's all happening all at once by just changing one thing? I wish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it is it is work and it takes, uh, I think the key for me is like one thing at a time and, and you have to put the work. It's something that uh, in two and a half months, I'm not going to say, and I'm going to lie and say uh, everything is fixed and everything. I I feel like I'm on the right, uh, on the right uh, track. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to give up, you know, those processed food that I was, uh, not that I was eating a lot of processed food, like, I don't know, protein bars or uh, yeah. bread or things that uh, I maybe have to eat less of those for a while or not eating at all. Uh, but those are, it's not easy to say no to things that you are used to eat. So you have to put the work and it's going slowly and it's not linear. Like I have, yes. It's, and then I have a, a day that I have a victory, and then the next day I blow. Yes. <laughs> it. Like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Yeah. But, um. What, what? I don't know. I think you, Cordula, do a, a great job, like keeping me in track, like checking my food journal, because I, I'm putting everything that I eat, I share with with you. Yeah. And you. And, and and I feel like uh, you listen and you are um, you give me feedback constantly, feedback because we are like um, detectives that's trying to. Yes. Okay, what else is happening? What else is causing you those symptoms? Or what is not? This is not happening. Let's see. Let's check. Right. Like uh, it's a it's a lot of work. It's not. I wish it's not as easy as take a pill and then the next. Mm. Day, yeah. Yes. No. I love that you say that. So you would say that the um, the support and the accountability that you get has been really helping you just to keep moving forward Oof. in the program. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent. 
totally. Yeah. The, the thing what happens is when, when you trace something and, and you don't see the results, uh, you know, when you think that you're supposed to see, and you can give up and try yeah. something else and try something else. Yeah. And for me, it's like that voice telling is, is super important and I'm super grateful, Cordula, because you do a great job, like I said. Sending messages, you are. Uh, when I ask something, you 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 are very prompt on answering, and and you take. Yeah, I can I can see you take the time to find the answers and to mm -hmm. uh, give me the 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 resources or the things that I need to to know. Right. So that is the support is 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 key because it's this is not easy and and no, it's not. Yeah, it's super hard because it's you know to go yeah. back to your own old habits is easier than. Uh, creating new habits yes it is it is absolutely because all of these old habits that, that we have been implementing in our lives we have created over many 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 years and now we are starting to reverse them and replace them with other habits so it it is going to take some time to do that yeah. and mm -hmm. but the approach that i take is and i want you guys to know that um just for your own personal story is that when you are embarking on this journey to feeling your personal best with chronic inflammation in your body, um, of course, it's going to take some time, but you will have to um, shift your body slowly into the state of balance. You will have to go strategically through certain steps so that you are allowing your body to make use of the resources that you're giving your body. So having said that, what does that mean? It means when your digestion is not working and your absorption is not working mm -hmm. and you don't have regular bowel movements, yeah, then it's going to be very difficult for your body to obtain the nutrients that you need mm -hmm. long term to get to a really good place. And this is always that has to be on the center of your mind that when you're feeling that you are ready to give up because you feel as if you don't see any changes happening overnight, mm. you need to understand that you are doing this for the long term. Yeah. You are creating something that is going to be sustainable for you for a long time. Yeah. This is not just a diet, a keto diet, a AIP that is promising you the world, um, you know, and, 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 you know, telling you that this is going to be the way to go to fix everything. It's yeah. not going to happen that way. Because yeah. honestly, we have to put in the work in order to get to where we want to be sustainably forever. That is the main goal. So we need to bring our bodies back into balance. And honestly, also, nutrition is one thing that we're working on very, very closely in the ATM, um, but the other pillars come into play just as much. And I'm talking about adrenal health and stress management, um, understanding that it's not just the food, but there's a lot of other factors that come in and create imbalances and that those also need to be addressed. Mm. And actually um, in the next month, we are honing in way more on adrenal health and we're going to be going into depth in, in terms of um, stress management and what to do. But Elena, tell us a little bit about this side of the story as well that you have been experiencing. Yeah. I, what, what, one thing that I've been uh, experiencing and practicing is the eating, eating slowly because I'm a really fast eater and the breathing before eating. And, and I, I think the la when I have after a few weeks of practicing, and I was practicing the the breathing before, um, because it's something that I that I also do with uh, you know on, on my on my work. But I think it's it's kicking now that every time before I eat the breathing, I breathe four or five times. I breathe in, I hold it, and then I I exhale. It's like connecting my whole body with the food that I'm gonna eat. And enjoying that that food and and giving my I'm starting to turn turn it off my TV like not TV or yeah. <laughs> place the phone and I just sometimes I have to throw it to the sofa and say no phone while you are yeah eating. and because I want to track when I when I eating so it's tricky because I wanna yeah I say, not tracking now just put it away and then later and and 
I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying more my food and, and also the, 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 the stress, that part, that is something that I, I, I you, I know it intellectually. I knew it yes. and about the stress, how, how much damage the stress can do in our yeah. body. And it's, but it's, um, Wow, the 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 brain muscle con the the brain muscle connection. I'm this is the personal trainer talking. The <laughs> gut brain connection too. <laughs> is is so important. The, the other day, just to put an example, that I was I was texting uh, you, Cordula, because I was at, at the airport, super bloated, super stressed. And I went to this, they had a yoga room in the, at the airport. It was like, what? I've never seen this before. So I took a few minutes, I was super anxious. And I took a few minutes to just breathe. And I was breathing and following this uh, video about breathing. And all of a sudden I felt, uh, I, I, and I wanted to, I was craving food when I, before I went. And after breathing and practicing that, I wasn't craving, I wasn't anxious anymore. I wasn't, it, was, it wasn't food what I was craving. It was something else. And yeah. And uh, then I, I wrote, I, I uh, so that's that's a big, I love what I love about this program is not only the food, it's the whole, like you said, the whole body is your yeah. mind, is your, your, your soul, your spirit, your, your, you know, your uh, everything physically, uh, mentally, yeah. because it's super important and we don't, we take, we don't think that it's that important yeah. until, you know, you, you, you know, you, you experience that. Uh, on your own so this yeah. is part of the program it's not just uh, cordura says that i need to eat this or i have to do this <laughs> have to put the 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 relaxing meditation the breathing the sleeping <laughs> everything uh-huh yes oh no i i i just want to kind of like share that with with our audience um thank you for sharing that with us about the airport incidents is um it was almost as if the universe was talking to us, right? Because Lena was in a really bad place at that airport. It was a very stressful situation for her. And we were just, she texted me and we were just trying to kind of like remedy that moment in time. Mm. And so I messaged her, I gave her some resources she can maybe do in terms of yoga stretches and breathing exercises at the airport. And then she texts me back that picture of that yoga room in the airport and like that's that's crazy because i just pulled up some simple yoga stretches mm. to cut you know like the 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 nervous to bring down the nervous system and to really cut that stress response which is with breathing and yoga you can do so easily mm. and there was that yoga room and i'm very happy that she actually went inside and and, and did it right there and then but this is again where the support and accountability comes in um, to really have somebody to hold your hand, to link arms with you, mm. to have your back, and to keep you moving forward on that right direction. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Elena, what would you say um, to somebody who would consider this program? Mm. Would you say that is something, who who is that person who you think would be benefiting from this program? Well, I think <laughs> any anybody who has uh, any autoimmune uh, disease, anybody who is been struggling with symptoms, I don't know, um, uh, the frustration of trying things, uh, the, the, with the Hashimoto's or the thyroid uh, with the um, SIBO, I don't know, with blood yeah. fatigue, with uh, the frustration of... Uh, I don't know, psoriasis, anybody who wants to uh, really find, and, and I, and I want to say that anybody who wants to find something that is uh, very personalized, that works for that person, like, it, this is not a um, cookie cutter program, that uh, you, you, you have a system that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. But then you, you help people to adjust and find, mm -hmm. for right now, I'm focusing on my blood sugar, right? And that's for me. And maybe for somebody else, it's something else that, that you, Cordula is going to help you to find what is what you need to focus on mm -hmm. every step of the way. And it's yes. something that is, ah, uh, okay, let's for, let's put this uh, on a side for now and let's focus on this because I think that that was 
for me, I, I think I was undernourished and you, you find that out and you been, you said, okay, let's focus on give you the nutrients that your body needs. Now let's focus on um, with your constipation and with your uh, stress. Let's focus on your blood sugar. Like mm-hmm. Cordula is going to, is going to, it's going to be that detective for you and it's going to find the, 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 the answers together. But I, I, want, I, want, I want us to say something. You need to put the work and you need to give her everything, you know, like um, uh, keeping your food journal, like all the data that you have to give her all the data so she can help you the best with all the data. Yes. You, you need to do, is this is not something that, okay, you tell me what to, you know, give me the plan <laughs> and I will do it. No. Thank you. If her, yes, uh, you know everything. I I told her everything that I eat, everything every day because I really want to get better. And yes, so anybody who wants uh, somebody that is very knowledgeable, professional, very uh, empathetic, very patient, and it's so easy to you you have a, a gift with connecting with people, and, and you make people you make people feel like. Uh, very comfortable around you and make you give hope and that's I don't know and it's 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 it's, it's awesome I, I just feel like uh, and I'm gonna keep after we are done with the three months I just decided that I'm gonna sign up for another six months for now and because I know I understand that this is not something that is gonna happen quickly yeah but I I I I have my faith and my hope and on on this this program <laughs> Wonderful. Elena, I, I couldn't have said it better. Thank you so, so much for for this input. It really means the world to me because everything that you just said is what I wish for it to be. So, um, and thank you for pointing out that if you think that you are ready to um, join our program, you will have to do the work. So, it, like you said, it's not a cookie cutter program it's not a template that you're going to be following and no it's going to be customized you get that high touch one-to-one with me but it comes with um you know the notion of put in the work to get get out the best possible results for you so thank you so much for your time um tonight i really appreciate that and it's it's such a pleasure working with you we are a great team right it's 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 a team that we are building when we're working together so um yeah thank you so much for sharing your journey with us i hope that this will give um, hope and inspiration to some of our my followers here and listeners and yeah you are free to go thank have you. a great night thank you bye bye All right, everybody, I hope that was a really good, you know, experience for you to listen to Elena's story and to kind of like have a grasp of what it could look like for you inside the um, ATM program. It's everything that Elena just talked about um, that you get, you do get the templates, you know, the worksheets, the PDFs and all of these things in the program. You get the trainings, you get my methodology, you get the strategy that is the framework that we are, um, that that I'm leading you through. But within that framework, you will also get the individualized approach that everybody needs in order to really find their way of proper repairing their gut and detoxification pathways and adrenal health and stress management and such. So. If you believe that this might be something um, you would like to um, find out more about, um, that this could be really benefiting you in your own life, I am happy to have a conversation with you. I am going to post um, the link to my calendar here under this video. Um, No pressure. You can think about it if you think that you're ready to make a sustainable change in your life so that you are headed towards a balanced, healthy body long term sustainably then i do encourage you to um call, book in a call with me and to just have a conversation to find out if this might be a good fit or not so we are going to start our new round of the atm in january is january 17th um 2022 
And it's really just around the corner. It's coming up very quickly. And I will be accepting age and clients into this program. And if you do want to be one of them, um, you know, hop on the wait list now. Whoever is going to be signing up with me before the end of the year will get a discount for the um, program cost. So there's absolute benefit in, um, you know, making a decision before the end of the year to get started in January. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed that conversation. Let me know in the comments and um, I hope that you have a great rest of your day.